family greetings welcome back to my channel I hope everybody is well in this particular video I would like to respond to some issues pertaining to the COVID-19 vaccine which was recently released to hospitals around the world okay now firstly I always thought it would be a challenge for people to give these vaccines to all of the healthcare workers around the world all right, and I said that primarily because I don't think it would be wise for us to actually endanger the lives of all of our primary healthcare professionals with a vaccine that has potential side effects. Okay, so I can imagine, can you imagine the implications of all of the doctors and nurses and healthcare professionals around the world actually succumbing to some ailment or some injury related to COVID-19 vaccine, I think that would be very detrimental to our existence because we would literally have nobody to actually assist us if other people were to have these same reactions, okay? And nobody would actually be able to um, resolve the situation. But in any event, in this particular video, I would like to respond to some vaccine-related injuries which have already begun to pile up in the United Kingdom. Okay, apparently two NHS workers have recently had severe allergic reactions, which they are calling anaphylaxis after taking the COVID-19 vaccine. Okay, and now due to these allergic reactions, they are now admonishing anyone who has a significant history of allergic reactions to avoid taking the COVID-19 vaccine okay so the thing is it's a very troubling development this is two people out of 1,000 okay there were only 1,000 who took it and there was already two people so if you consider for 1 million people this number would grow exponentially if it is two out of every 1,000 you know and so family I would like to admonish everyone to be careful with the, with the health of their children and their own personal health and actually ensure that this vaccine that you are about to take emphasis, um, emphasis on you um, make sure that the vaccine that you are about to take is actually safe for human distribution and consumption okay and family I'm not a supporter of vaccines and after doing some research, I found that anaphylaxis and several other health complications routinely happen for the vaccines that are commonly accepted today, like measles, mumps, and rubella. Um, also, the tetanus vaccine, the tetanus shot actually has health complications that on an annual, bla on an annual basis actually result in um, vaccine settlements and litigation that oftentimes occurs when it's too late when people actually already have a life-changing complication you know and the funds that they actually receive will actually have to be spent on their own medical care you know so it's actually a lose-lose situation and so family I just wanted to weigh in on this I hope everybody remains safe um, careful in terms of how you approach this vaccine um, I believe Minister Louis Farrakhan was correct when he said that we should have our own um, African scientists doctors actually assess these vaccines and try to even present one that is um, consistent with the physiology of Africans okay if you remember the Tuskegee experiments we found that we were the guinea pigs um, prior to them having a successful uh, syphilis vaccine okay and so we would not want to see history repeat itself by having a catastrophe in the black community family let me know your thoughts in the comments below about all these dynamics one love